this video i'm going to sort of break down my process on how i came about making this sort of animation it's commonly referred to as like 2.5d animation you mostly see this in uh, games very commonly used by uh, games like league of legends also a good example is uh, this series by world of warcraft on their youtube channel okay so the first step that i took was just to get a rough idea i sort of came up with this character i <laughs> intentionally gave him a bunch of like extra baggy clothes and like a scarf and also that like i could animate it uh and uh here you can see the process that i went to it's just usually like a rough sketch into some color and i want to give it a uh, sort of like a painted kind of look and uh, the most important thing is that if you are drawing your own character or your own art is to keep in mind that uh, this will be animated per layer so for example if you want to animate his arms or his scarf or his hair uh, sort of plan ahead it's a good idea to plan ahead uh, where you can sort of separate the layers to the rough sketch and then when i did my line art i i did the line art on separate layers and i sort of broke it down ahead so once you're done rendering your artwork uh this is what mine looked like so i've split the i've split my character up uh into the parts that i want to animate so hair arms like his shirt and stuff like that okay so the next step is to open up after effects and input all these layers and this is how i arranged it so the hair and the head come above everything else and the scarf goes below the head and so on and so forth to get the idea a little trick that i found out is to, if you want to animate a cloth grand or just uh, just to show some movement in cloth you can use this uh, wave warp effect so just drag uh, the wave warp effect onto the layer that you want to animate and uh, you can play around with the settings but these are the settings that i found that look good for me but again uh, it's, this is all about experimenting and finding out which settings work best for your project so these are the ones that i used so i used the wave warp on like the the small bits of cloth for example like his scarf uh, the part underneath his scarf like his shirt his pants this gives it sort of like a like a light breeze kind of effect okay so a couple other effects i used were like a puppet tool for his arms and a, a neat little trick that i found was like once you're done adding the puppet tool uh, points i wanted to simulate a sort of a, a circular motion for his arms when the character is breathing he sort of goes up and down you can do this uh, with keyframing but i figured out that if i added a sort of circular after effects expression to it it would it would sort of uh, do the job for me i'll leave a link to these scripts that i used and you can mess around with the settings so yeah like as you can see here one side and the script to this only this point you can see that it sort of moves it in a way that it looks like the arm is sort of like his breathing like an idle sort of animation and that did the job for me uh you can hold on alt and click the little stopwatch icon over here and you can copy paste this script and you can tweak the values so my i set up a scene with a bunch of lights and uh, the idea was to speed up to save some time instead of drawing the background and this would also since we're using a real time render like arnel it would also have accurate colors for the background and stuff like that and when you paint over the render it gives a really nice sort of look to it as you can see here i'm going over like the the corners of the stones and rocks and i'm painting over the sand a bit just to give this sort of painted look uh once that's done and also as uh, the project progressed i also decided to add in a bit more story to this thing which was meant to be like a test so i did the same thing to a couple of different scenes as you can see here so now it looks like this character is like walking to a cave uh he finds a cool sword and he takes it and stuff like that you can if you have any questions uh, leave a comment and i can get back to you guys also if you found this video useful and you made something from it please share it with us you can join our discord channel there's a link in the description 
feel free to join and share anything that you've made we have a bunch of other tutorials on and breakdowns on blender if you guys are interested yeah and have fun animating see you guys